we will now begin to actually draw the interior walls of this house. So I'm going to zoom out here and I'll select this interior walls tab and the, my interior walls I can select this three and a half inch wall and I'll start down here in this corner. I'm going to select the same interior stud corner and I'll draw from one point to the next and I'll actually start selecting these points around these walls and just draw them and I'll go to the exterior face of the stud. When I go back down here to this wall you'll see that it cleans up even though they're different colors they actually print out correctly. And If I select this wall you can see that it has a line which we call the baseline. And there are a couple of grips. Uh, we've used this uh, triangular one before. It moves this wall, actually stretches it in a straight line. So if I selected this grip and snapped over here, it would still just go in a straight line, as opposed to if I grabbed this square grip and select it over here, it would move the entire wall over there but that's not exactly the way I want to go so I'm going to select this undo button and then I'll move that wall back and if I select this wall you can see this baseline if I select this arrow grip it will actually change the side in which the baseline is on the baseline is important for walls to clean up when they intersect one another so if I select these other two exterior walls the baseline meets at this point right here and so if I actually drag this down with the baseline on this side you can see there's a red line in between the two because these walls aren't cleaning up. If I select this and flip its baseline this baseline will join the endpoints of these other baselines and actually clean up the walls. So when we actually draw these interior walls our goal is to actually get the baselines to touch one another and their endpoints to touch and that will cause these walls to clean up. Now if I continue on and draw my interior walls from one point say to another you can see that they clean up and these walls act like AutoCAD lines so if I use an AutoCAD command like extend I'll just type in EX and enter and select this wall enter then select this wall it'll actually extend down to this other wall if I stretch this one beyond another command is trim I can type in TR enter select the trimming wall enter then the wall I want to trim it'll actually trim off those walls also copy works we have a couple of modify tools up here Cop move rotate erase and copy. So I can use this copy tool, select the wall, select its base point, and then over here. And so you can see that you can copy a wall. And again, you can trim it using the trim command. We have a uh, five and a half inch wall, a two by six wall. I can select this stud interior three and a half inch five and a half inch wall and draw from one point to another and draw that wall in there and I'll continue on drawing the rest of my interior walls again just drawing around selecting the endpoints sometimes you might find yourself snapped and you're on the actual wrong side of a wall you can actually flip the side of the baseline while drafting so if I selected this three and a half inch wall and wanted it to be on the other side I can just hit tap the control button and it'll actually draw it on the other side of the baseline so I'll just type in control again and draw on this wall and this last wall that I'm going to draw is a double wall so I'll select this interior double wall and I'll select this point and draw it all the way down to that point right there. Sometimes you'll get these yellow triangles. This happens when your two walls don't clean up correctly. And so if I move this endpoint back, it will actually clean that up. But we'll fix this in just a little bit. And you, we have the same issue here with these two walls not cleaning up. 